Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. I am Christina. Today I have another pick a card for you about career and money. So if you want to know what's going on on your finances, um, or if you're going to be getting a job or changing careers, um, this is the pick a card for you. So before I get started, I always send out some healing. So everybody take a deep breath with me and through your nose and out through your mouth. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we have pile one with citrine, pile two with hematite, pile three with amazonite, and pile four with selenite. So take a minute, pick the pile that resonates, pick the pile that you're drawn to. If you have to, pause the video. Um, because I'm going to get started with pile one. Just remember, go to the timestamps in the description. All right, here we go. Hi, pile one. If you chose the citrine, this is going to be your reading. I'm going to pull some angel numbers and I will post the uh, meaning in the comments after I post the video. So let's see what we get here. We got... Uh, one, four, seven. So one, four, seven is your angel number. Um, and I'm just going to write that down and get your tarot. So hang on one second. Okay, pile one. Let's see what cards come out for you. What messages we have. about our careers. All right, let's see. We have Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, the Tower, Five of Swords. <clears throat> All right, so Eight of Cups is usually walking away from something, right? So be prepared for challenges. Um, maybe it's time to branch out into something new. The Knight's saying that, you know, it could be better for you to be your own boss. You know? I don't feel like you're completely happy where you're at, and but you do have drive. You you do have things that you like want to accomplish, or maybe you see things that the bosses where you're at aren't doing it the way that you feel like they should. Like maybe you see better ways, but they're just setting their they're setting their ways and they're not listening, or they don't do things the way that you think that they should. Maybe there's ways to be more efficient and and they're just like, ah, this is the way we do it. I don't know. You just feel unhappy where you're at. And I feel like maybe you would benefit from owning your own business. Um yeah, I think the King of Cups is saying you don't you don't feel like you're receiving the recognition that you deserve. So maybe your ideas are just, you know, going in one ear and out the other. Now, the tower is a sudden change. It's a disruption. It's it's a crumbling of something. So, uh, this could be like a stressful change for you right now. Like, you, you could be at like your wit's end. Um, well, the tower always also says that you could be working at, a, you know, a dangerous job, like a firefighter or a police officer or something like that. But I'm not feeling that with this. I'm feeling like you're kind of over it. You're just not happy. And I feel with the Five of Swords, your, like, negative attitude um, might be causing more harm to your work environment than you realize. 
So maybe it is time for a change. Now all these cards basically are saying for money that you need to budget. You know, so it's saying just be careful. Like it's not saying that you don't have any money, but it is saying that you know it, you you got a budget. You you're gonna get your money's gonna become stable eventually, but um. You might have a few expensive habits that you should, you know, be careful with your spending. So, all right, let's grab some more. Let's see what's happening. So my neighbor is having work done, dump trucks and stuff are delivering dirt. And my dog is going crazy. So if you hear barking in the background, I apologize. He just has been going nuts all morning. And the other dog, my daughter's dog, is just, he's fascinated by the dump trucks. It's so funny. He, like, in the bulldozers, like, he's just fascinated by it. <laughs> he just watches them. <laughs> you have the wheel, the seven of cups, four of pentacles, and three of cups. Okay, so... It looks like things are going to get better here. So, especially with this wheel. Um, so, the wheel of fortune is, you know, luck is turning in your favor, right? So, I feel like this is a really good omen for change. Like, I think that if you are thinking about starting your own business, that this is probably the, the good time to do it. Um, I feel with Seven of Cups, you're going to have a lot of opportunities. Um, just make sure you don't have unrealistic expectations. You know, like, be a realist right now. Especially since, you know, money could be a little tight. Like, you have to budget. So, don't bite off more than you can chew. Just be pretty smart about this, okay? Um, the Four of Pentacles is saying, you know, make sure that your paycheck is not your only motivation to get up and go to work, you know? So if you are choosing to do something different, if you are choosing to go to work for yourself, make sure you're going to love it. Make sure you're going to be happy. Make sure you're not going to be miserable because, like, your current circumstances aren't the greatest. You're not, I mean, it might be an okay job, but you're just not happy there. So this is just saying, like, Make sure that you don't do something just just for the paycheck, okay? Um, the Three of Cups, for me, it's saying that you might meet somebody or you might know somebody that you're talking to that, that might have a similar vision as you. Like, you might have the same goals, right? So maybe it's a, a start of maybe a partnership or something. Um, or at least somebody that you can bounce ideas off of because they're of the, like like-minded so the like mindset um and all of these cards are saying that money's going to be getting better so that's good right that's really really good all right <clears throat> now i'm gonna i'm gonna grab these light seer cards i don't know what how i'm going to interpret them for a money money read but Let's just go with it and see what comes to me. <laughs> Pallades. Imrama. Keepers of the Earth. All right. I just set decks out. So, like, I use those decks all week because, I don't know. I guess I'm lazy and it's a pain in the butt to keep changing decks. <laughs> So let's just see what we get for this money. So Pallades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. So, okay, so for me, this is saying that, all right, so this card normally means like they want you to raise your vibration so you, ra you can help raise the vibration of the planet, right? So for me, in a money read, in a career, they want you to be happy so that, that others around you are happy too, okay? So... We have to figure it out. You have to figure out what's going to make you happy career-wise. Um, 
this one is saying, where are you being called to journey to? So it definitely feels like you're being called to start a new journey, to take a different path. It feels like you need to find your way. Um, because I, I, I don't feel like where you're at is where you're supposed to be. Now the keeper of the earth says you're not alone. Ancient ancestors are, are stand beside you and bless you. So that just means you're being supported from spirit. They see what you're doing and um, they're behind you. And they're going to support you and guide you as best that they can from the other side. All right, let's see what these cards are. <laughs> Keeper of the Scales. The Horse King. Okay, so Keeper of the Scales, that's all about just returning balance to your life, right? So right now things are a little out of balance because you're unhappy where you're at. So you got to find a balance of good and bad, right? So work is called work because it's work. Um, but it doesn't mean it has to be, you don't, you don't have to be miserable there. So this is saying find something that you are okay with doing. Something that's, you know, it might not make you super happy, but it's, it's, you're not going to be miserable. You know, so you got to find something that's going to bring balance to you. Because when you're miserable at work, you, you tend to bring that home. I mean, not you specifically, but everybody. They, you know, you bring that home with you and it just makes everybody miserable. And, and who wants that, right? Now, the Horse King, that again is speaking about somebody coming in to help you. Like maybe like. Maybe you are going to have a partner. Um, it also says like you can go the distance, right? Like what is it? Assistance and control. Yeah. So, um, you know, <sighs> with this journey here, it's saying that you can reach your destination. Like you have the strength to do it. You have the, the um, ambition to do it, right? Um but maybe you aren't supposed to take this journey alone. You know, maybe it's important to delegate authority to others so that they can assist you, you know. But I think that you should just remain open to those who are sent to you to aid you. I think that's pretty much all this card is saying. That somebody might come into your life that, that wants to help. let them you know why do it alone if you don't have to okay so let me grab this last card well no that's not the last cards archangel raziel oh he's cool looking thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so yeah they're saying that you are being supported from the other side from the angels from spirit to know what you're good at and put that into a new position a new job so they're just kind of saying we're guiding you we're giving you the information we're reminding you that you're really good at this particular thing whatever it is for you and now you could start a business doing that or you know get a better better job doing that honeymoon now, this is a money and career read, so that doesn't mean you're going on a honeymoon, but it does, I mean, actually it could for some of you. Maybe maybe you put off going on a honeymoon because you couldn't get off work or whatever. So maybe now's the time to take that. But at the very least, I think it's just saying, you know, it's time to take a little vacation, whether it just be like a weekend or, you know, a big trip or whatever, but... I think you deserve it. I think you need the break. And I think you, it'll like help reset and refresh you and maybe restore some balance. So go ahead and take some time. All right. Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. So. 
to me that's saying that they're they're giving you intuition they're giving you insight um, on what to do and how to do it again the spirits guiding you you know their gifted sight is is psychic connection right it's gifts psychic gifts so it's all about knowing what you want and how to accomplish it and I think they're they're supporting you in that and they're giving that to you I'm going to throw some charms you know it, this is a money read so I don't usually throw charms but I did last time and it ended up okay so let's let's see what we get this time too it's just a couple so you have um, September and the schoolhouse and the pencil so all of that to me means maybe you're going back to school maybe you need to learn something new you know September's the time that kids go back to school um, school is always learning something new and pencil you you need a pencil for school right but it's always writing or journaling or something like that too so I don't know I think I have a strong feeling that that some of you are going to go back to school to learn something else so you have the heart with the angel wings so that means somebody from the other side is looking out for you and um, watching over you guiding you protecting you that's your guardian angel okay you got the flag now the flag oh it could be september again labor day right so yeah i think that that points back to going to school because i don't feel like it's fourth of july or memorial day right now veterans day maybe you're a veteran um yeah i just i'm going to tie that in with the september things because you got your last one is a candy cane and for me that means something significant is going to happen to you in december around christmas time um could be a birthday anniversary you know it could be a date an important date but it could also mean that something is going to happen at that time something significant well, that's all i have for you pile one if you um uh, enjoyed this if this was helpful give the video a like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel i would be so grateful yeah thank you for letting me do this reading for you um it was good you know i'm sorry you're miserable right now but i think it's going to turn out amazing for you so until next time love and light Hi Pile 2, if you chose the hematite, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to grab you some angel numbers, and then I'll post the, um, the meaning in the comments after I post the video. So you have 5, 4, 7. 5, 4, 7 is your angel number. I'm going to put you on pause real quick, write that down, and grab tarot. Okay, pile two. Just a warning, my puppy's going crazy. They're doing work across the street, outside, like heavy-duty yard work with backhoes, and my dog is just going crazy over it. So, uh, if there's a lot of barking, I apologize. All right, let's see what you got. Ugh. Three of Swords, the Moon, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands. Why is that look crooked? There we go. I must have hit the camera. Okay. Three swords. Um, three of swords is heartbreak, right? So either you lost your job or you just hate it. You're kind of feeling like lost, disappointed. This is saying that you should 
assess different ways of turning the situation around. So either figure out what's going wrong, why you don't like it and fix it, or figure out what went wrong this time so you don't make the same mistake next time. The moon says that you're unhappy due to poor communication. So either clear the air. Um, sometimes this means like you feel lost because you can't find steady work. <sighs> I haven't figured out what situation this is. Either you lost your job or you didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, quite sure yet. But the Queen of Pentacles is going to come in and bring you some good news, some good advice. And you should definitely listen to whoever this Queen of Pentacles energy is coming in for you. Two of Swords is a choice. You might have some kind of a career decision here. Um, you know, if you didn't lose your job and you are still working, you could be in the middle of a work conflict, right? And that's what's making you unhappy because um, they may be forcing you to pick sides and you really kind of don't want to want to. Um, you might feel torn. Eight of Pentacles, I mean, Eight of... Eight of Wands, sorry. That's really fast moving energy. So something's going to move fast. Either a new opportunity or a new venture is going to take off sooner than you expected, or you're going to be finding a new job like that real quick, or there's going to be like, I don't know, sudden change or something. Something's happening very quickly. For money, I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs here with money. I think you need to be careful with money still. I feel like, you know, with the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles here, you will eventually have some money coming in or, you know, be more stable. But I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs with money. I would be careful. I wouldn't go overspending. I wouldn't be gambling right now. I wouldn't be doing anything too over the top. Yeah, two of swords again. Justice. Four of pentacles in the hierophant. Yeah, somebody's definitely going to come in and be a mentor towards you. Or at the very least, just somebody giving you really sound advice. So I think it's very important to listen to them. Because I think whatever they're telling you is something that you're either meant to hear or it's going to help you go down the right path. <sighs> Justice is, you know, all about bringing balance into your life. Four of Pentacles says, make sure your paycheck's not your own only motivation to get up and go to work every day. You know, there's got to be other things. You know, your overall happiness is, is important. So, I, I think you're needing a change right now. You're definitely needing something to happen. You might be feeling a little stuck. But... Something, something's going to happen fast. That you got eight, eight of wands here, and that's really fast moving energy. Now, I'm grabbing these cards. <laughs> They're not really for a money read, but I can pretty much read anything. So let's, let's see. Let's see what these cards have to say. These light worker cards. The Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits and soul tribe. Which to me says that you definitely have somebody coming in giving you advice or being some kind of a mentor towards you and they're part of your soul tribe. 
and you're also being given hints from from heaven um you know spirits you know trying to divinely guide you but it's all coming together don't worry about it um however you're you're kind of in this stuck energy i think i said so it's saying do something to change your energy dance with life right so you have to change your energy somehow because you don't want to be stuck in this for long so I, you don't even have to do anything work related just do something that makes you a little bit happy like take a weekend go fishing if that's what you like or you know go <coughs> go dancing um i don't know just do something fun do something fun to change your energy when you change your energy it could it will bring a shift you know and then pillar of light says that your vibration is rising um so it's rising i just feel like it's rising slowly right now um but i feel like something's gonna happen soon with this eight of, eight of wands i keep coming back to this fast moving energy up there like i feel like something's gonna happen and um there's gonna be i don't know something that i don't even know what i'm trying to say right now hang on lady of lightning surprises sometimes shock to oh, okay total paragraph shift yeah okay that's what i was trying to say like, there's gonna be this like something that happens that's like major right that just puts you in a whole different i don't want to say mindset but like something something is definitely changing so like it's a powerful change um like it's it's going to be sudden it's it's not something you're expecting it's going to be like a series of aha moments you know that that i don't know you know maybe this someone's going to come into your life that pushes you to new heights you know what i mean that mentor i feel like or like you might have a a brilliant idea that hits you like lightning like you're gonna be like ah oh, like why didn't I think of that sooner like something's just gonna come in so be prepared for change um, don't resist it it's gonna come in like a flash of lightning I think that's I had to, I had to put that in there you know the lady of lightning um, yeah, so like just, just, ex well, you're not expecting it. So just when it happens, be like, yeah, this is it. This is my, this is my time to shine now, right? The sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. So you're going to have a reason to celebrate. You, abundance is coming in for you. So this is happening for a reason. So if you did lose your job, it's because it's making room for whatever this, whatever this opportunity is coming in for you. Um, so, well, that was fast. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me express my inner creator. So, like I said, this is like an aha moment. Like you're going to, there's going to be something like, I, I don't know, that's, a creative solution that's going to happen to change things for you in a sudden very quick way but it's all going to be for your highest good all right you got getting to know each other okay so this isn't a love reading so i think this means that like spend time with your mentor um whoever this person is spend time and, and actually listen to their ideas listen to their advice i think i really feel like somebody's coming in that's going to be very helpful to you if they're not already in your life the butterfly ferrets i am reborn that's exactly how you're going to feel you're going to feel reborn you're going to feel like renewed refreshed you're going to feel like this is like a 
whole new chapter for you, a whole new beginning, and that's amazing. I'm gonna throw some charms, because why not? Let's just, let's just see. Let's see what we get. You got the crown. So this is saying step into your power. Be the leader that you're meant to be. You've got angel. So the angels are looking out for you. They are behind you, supporting you with the support ribbon. Um, let's see what else we got here. We got the bow, which means... Um, a surprise like it could be a pleasant surprise it could be a present coming to your way a gift which is nice um, you have double arrows so that could mean that you have two different paths so you could go one right or it could just mean that you are definitely going in the right direction because both arrows arrows are pointing in the same direction so Take it how it resonates for you. You have love, so somebody loves you. <laughs> um, you also have candy, so something sweet's about to happen. Like, is you're you're gonna get rewarded for something, and you have February, so something significant is happening. In in February it could be just a date birthday anniversary that type of thing but it could also be an important um, situation that arises in February so pile two this is what I've got for you if you enjoyed the reading or if it helped you in some way give the video a like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel I would be so grateful I really really would and uh, until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Amazonite, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to grab some angel numbers for you. We have... Oh, 7, 8, 2. 782. Let me write that down and I will grab your tarot. So give me one second. Okay, as I've been explaining to the other piles, my puppies are going crazy today. <laughs> so if you hear them barking, my apologies. I'm trying to uh, keep them calm, but even when you give them bones, the one steals the other one and the other one cries. It's just <laughs> they're worse than toddlers. Ah, oh, not what I wanted at this stage in my life. But hey, it is what it is. Wheel of Fortune. The Emperor. No, oh, Empress. King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Temperance. Let me just move these over a little bit here. They're so, so crooked. Um, there. Yeah, a little bit better. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I feel like a promotion's coming your way. Work hard. Keep your head clear. Keep your head focused. I think, I think a promotion's coming. Yeah, Empress is saying like um, you're going to be rising into a leadership position. Yeah, King of Pentacles, promotion's coming your way. Either that or somebody's coming in that um, like an established person that's going to help you advance in your career. So somebody who is already like higher up might be recommending you for a leadership position or something like that queen of cups like you have amazing cards i think that you know this position is 
going to evolve into a position that you really enjoy. Um, it might have some challenges um, that you might have to deal with, but I, I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. I, I think that this is going to evolve into something really nice. I think you just have to have a, a little bit of patience. I think that's what it's asking you to just be patient. All right. Let's see what else we get here. Okay. Well, that doesn't make sense. Three of Swords, the Sun, the Lovers. <sighs> Good old these majors. Mm. All right. This is what I'm getting. This doesn't make sense. You have all really great cards, right? And then you get this heartache, which is like a loss or something. But I feel like you're unhappy right now. Whatever you're doing right now, um, yeah, you're not happy. You're not satisfied. But you're getting, I feel like you're going to get a promotion and everything's going to be great. And you're going to be happy again. You have your son. Like, this is the best card in the deck. So uh, you definitely have a bright future. Um, just, you, you know, again, I feel like you have to work, you might have to work hard, um, uh, to be successful, but you will be successful. That's the good thing. Uh, you might have a choice. You might have to make a career decision here. Um, but I feel like if you follow your heart, it's going to lead to happiness and success. So, all right. So this is what this is the scenario they're giving me. Um, say you work at a big box store, like you know, one of the Home Depots or something like that, Walmart, and you know you're currently an employee. But they're thinking about promoting you to management. The only problem is you might have to change stores. So you might have to drive further out of your way to get this promotion. So that's kind of the scenario I'm saying. Um, you know, I, they just use that as an example. So there's going to be some kind of a decision that you have to make like normally when like you're getting a promotion you're getting a raise you're like hell yeah there's no decision yeah you're taking it but there's going to be a decision that you have to make there's going to be a reason why you might not take it um, but you're really unhappy right now so I, you know the fool here is is definitely saying that you're 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 starting a new position that you're very excited about so let go of any self-doubt this is going to make you happy this change is going to make you happy so just go with it i think you've been asking for it so sorry that something popped up on my computer okay let's uh now these cards aren't i don't know what these cards these cards bring different messages but Let's see what we get and how I can apply it. Oh, well, that's easy. Leap, just like the fool. Take the leap of faith. They're saying, go first. The universe is going to catch you. Don't worry about it. Like, the universe has got your back. Go for it. Um, Council of Light is divine orchestration. So, yeah, like, helpers in the subtle rounds. So, yeah, spirit is guiding you. Spirit is giving you this opportunity, bring it, make this opportunity um, happen for you so that you can be happy. Um, pillar of light, your vibration is rising. So yeah, so this is to me means that you're rising up to a leadership position. You're rising in your career. You're you're another step up that ladder. Interesting. I'm glad this is working out. Okay, let's see what else we get here. We got 
the Diamond Dreamer, Material Wealth, wealth True Prosperity, the Lady of Lightning. Surprises, sometimes shock, total paradigm shift. Okay. Material wealth, truth, prosperity. That's what's coming. They're bringing it to you. You've been asking for this. You've been trying to manifest this. And um, it's coming. It's on its way. You're not going to be unhappy for long. Um, just have a little bit of patience because it's coming. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually, I feel like it's coming faster than you think. Um, Lady of Lightning, that's like a sudden change, right? That's kind of like the Tower card. Um, the only thing is, I don't think it's a bad change. I think it's a good change, but it's going to be quick. And you're, I think you're going to have to make a quick decision. And it's going to change things for you. So just expect that. Expect the change. But welcome it. You know, don't. Don't shy away from it. It's what you've been wanting. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. Manifest miracles. See, what did I just say? You're manifesting this, right? Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. So, yes, Spirit's helping you to get what you want, helping you to rise to climb the ladder of success. It's going to be a good thing. Good changes are about to happen. Good things. That three of swords had me a little worried, but then now I understand. You're just not happy where you're at right now, but amazing things are happening. Amazing things. Engagement. Okay, so, you know, this is not a love read, right? So engagement just means a higher, a deeper level of commitment. So you're going to have to have a deeper level of commitment to this job, to this new position. It's going to require a little bit more from you than what they, what right now, like right now you might be able to like go to work, leave your work at work and go home and enjoy life. You might not be able to do that with this new commitment. Okay. This new opportunity that's coming in, you might. It might require a little bit more might from you, a little bit more commitment from you. So just, you know, be aware of that. Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. So you're being protected. Somebody from the other side is definitely has your back. Um, and I say that because the angels always have our back, right? But it says, I will watch over you. So there's somebody that maybe you've been praying to, you've been trying to talk to, trying to get them to give you advice. They're saying that they're, whoever that is, whether it be, you know, somebody in your family who has passed or just a very close friend, but they're saying, yes, they've got your back. They're watching over you and they are helping you and they are guiding you. So just know that. That whoever you've been trying to communicate with is communicating back to you. Alright, I'm pulling some charms. Smitten. Hmm, smitten. This is a career read, so I think you're going to be smitten with this new position. I think you're really going to like it. I think you're really going to love it. I think you're going to really enjoy it. I think it's going to make you happy. Yes, something is blooming. You got the blue, you got the flower and the leaf. So you're turning a new leaf. Like the job is turning and is becoming something new, right? Something new is blooming. So yes, this is a new opportunity for you. We got the gingerbread man. To me, that's usually signifies something that's happening in December. Um, but. <laughs> In this circumstance, it could just mean that, you know, something sweet's about to happen. You're just, you're about to be rewarded, right? Um, yeah. And then you got the Uno card. And the Uno card is, a, like, Uno is a game. So, um, 
you know, don't play games. When this opportunity arises, make your decision. Don't play games. That's what it's saying to me. I'm trying to see if I get anything else from that, but that's what I got. So if this helped you, if you enjoyed this reading, please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel because that helps me and I'm so very grateful for all my subscribers. Um, but this is what I got for you and thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Until next time, love and light. Hi Pile 4, if you chose Selenite, then this is going to be your reading. I'm going to grab you some angel numbers. We have... Zero, two, zero, five. So technically, I guess that's 205. So give me a second. I'm going to write that down and grab some tarot cards. Okie dokie, pile four. I'm apologizing in advance if you hear too much barking in the background. The puppies are in rare form today. Let's see what we got. You have Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Justice. Eight of, eight, of, eight of Wands is um, fast, move, fast moving energy. So something, something's going to start moving fast for you. Something's going to happen fast. There's going to be news, like communication. I don't know. Something, something, something fast moving. Ace of Wands says that, you know, you have a lot of brand new ideas. It could be maybe a new job. But Five of Pentacles is saying that you, your self-esteem is damaged. Like something happens and your self-esteem is, is pretty low right now. The Queen of Pentacles is saying that, you know, there might be like, somebody that comes in who's going to bring you success you know this is this is advising you to follow whoever this person is follow their advice because it's going to lead you to success but then you have temperance saying that you know you need to find a better work-life balance you know if you're spending too much time at the office that's not good you know Work's not the most important thing in life. I don't, I really don't know about this. I mean, this is a kind of confusing read. I don't know. Let's let's grab some more cards because I'm, I'm not getting a big picture here. Usually, a story starts forming right away, and this is just a little confusing. So something's going to happen fast. Maybe one of your new ideas is coming, but your your self-esteem is damaged. So like, but somebody's coming in with advice for you. Just make sure you're not spending too much time at the office. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I don't know. Four of Cups. <laughs> this, is, this isn't helping. Nine of Pentacles. The Empress. And five of swords. Oh, this is just, this is a strange read. All right, so hopefully this is meant for somebody who really understands it because, I don't know, this is kind of saying you're bored at work, you know? You're bored, you're not motivated, so, you know, things really aren't going all that well for you there. But, Nine of Pentacles is saying that you're about to reach the 
you're about to reap the rewards from your sacrifices. So maybe you have been spending too much time at the office and it's going to pay off. But you're bored and self-conscious. I, I don't know. The Empress is saying things are going to get better soon. Just go with the flow. You know, you could be rising to a leadership position. <laughs> so strange. Um, but then you got the Five of Swords saying that you have a negative attitude. You know, like... You're not being proactive. You're, you're you know, you're... I don't know. You you got some in, some kind of internal conflict going on here. I just feel like up and down, up and down. Like that's what I'm feeling. Like one day you're good, one day you're miserable, one day you're okay, next day you're not. Like what's going on with you, pile four? I don't get it. And maybe that's the point. Maybe you don't get it either. You know, maybe you don't know what's wrong and how to fix it. Maybe that's why I'm feeling this way. It's so strange. Strange. This is the strangest reading, I think. All right, let's see. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So you're not leading right now. You're being, you're a follower or you're being a worker bee and they want you to, to step up. But you're overthinking, right? You're, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Face, f keep facing your true north. So keep going in, in the right direction. Stop overthinking things. Why, why, why are you so, why is there so much self-doubt here? You've been training for this. It says for lifetimes, but so this is, you're working with like in, in a job or something that you've done over and over again. So you, you kind of, it feels like you know it like the back of your hand. So what's the problem? Why are you doubting yourself? Your self-esteem is shot. We need to fix that. <laughs> to start being confident because you obviously have the skills I mean it's saying it right here you've been training for this for a lifetime so you have the skills why is your self confidence not there the prison waif self sabotage exactly you're self sabotaging poverty consciousness okay so that means like if you think you're poor you're always going to be poor you got to think that you're rich. <laughs> Money comes in. You got to change the way you think. Now the hawk prince, that's like saying that you, spirit's looking out for you. Um, you just might not be paying attention. They're trying to communicate with you. They're trying to get your attention. But it could also mean like expect a phone call or a letter or an email or maybe some kind of a conversation with like somebody who's mentoring you, right? That says that that lets you know like what your next step step should be, you know? I feel like you've arrived at an important stage along your path. Like you're at it like a this is a pivotal moment. Pay attention for signs. Whether you hear something on the radio or on the TV even. Um, even if you overhear a conversation like of two random people talking. Like there's going to be a message for you in this. So just be open to it because it's some, spirits trying to communicate with you. And they're trying to give you some kind of advice. I don't know. This is a, just, it's just like I'm feeling really weird. 
healthy choices. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy decisions. This is coming back to this, the self-sabotage and this um, self-esteem issue. They're trying to, to get you out of that. They're trying to pull you out of something, something that's not healthy for you. All right, so you got codependency. Now, this isn't a love read, so this means that codependency is an addiction so I think some kind of addiction here is affecting your work it doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol but it could very well be that with this self-sabotage low self-esteem you haven't been making healthy choices because they're saying thank you for helping me to make healthy decisions so um, maybe that's why I feel up and down pile four you need to make better choices the mermaid and the turtle an elder will teach you so like that queen of pentacles up there somebody's coming in to guide you to show you the way um spirits bringing this person to you let them help you whatever this is whatever this is you have to you have to fix this you have to heal from this this isn't good for you But you have the Nine of Pentacles there. So that's saying you're about to reap the rewards for your sacrifices. So maybe you have been putting in the work to get out of whatever this codependency is. And uh, it's about to pay off. I don't know. So anyway, I'm pulling some charms for you. If you didn't hear my bag. <laughs> Um, all right, so your charms are, you got smiles, so you're going to have a reason to smile. You have the Uno card, don't play games, okay? Don't play games in your work life. Figure it out. You have the compass, so you are definitely going in the right direction. You're moving in the right direction, which is really good, because you will have the good life. And you probably can't read that, but it says the good life. So the good life is coming. You got a scissor, so you got to cut ties. Cut ties with what no longer serves you, whether it be a false belief system, whether it be an addiction, cut ties with it. Let it go. You have the dragonfly, which always to me means that somebody from heaven is here trying to give you a message, trying to let you know that they love you and that they support you and that they're here. And like I said, that's what this Hawk Prince is also doing for you. You have a bow. So to me, that always means a gift or a present. What happened to my bow? Oh, is it? It's just backwards. <laughs> um, it's a little present. It's not a big present because I have a big bow. So this is the little bow. So you're going to get a gift, a little gift. Um, but hey, a gift's a gift, right? And then you have the bat, which always, to me, represents Halloween. So, something's going to happen around Halloween time. Anyway, pile four. This was a tough one for me, um, but I think we kind of figured it out as we went which is good. I think you're going to be okay. I think you're on the right path. I think you just got to pull yourself out of this energy of self-sabotaging. Got to stop doing that. But anyway, this is what I have for you. And if this helped you in some way, please give the video a like. 
If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that helps me and I would be so grateful. Thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you, even though it was kind of heavy. Um, but you're going to be okay. So until next time, love and light.